This is a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine, Lulu Mortez, my employer's daughter. My employer is a mortician, which is why life is difficult for Lulu. Growing up in a huge, creepy house, a parking lot full of hearses as your playground, the basement crammed with coffins, oversized refrigerators, and, of course, the dead. And being a mortician's daughter, it's quite hard to throw a really fun sleepover. It broke her dear mother's heart to see the other girls going off on their first real dates while Lulu stayed at home, greeting the bereaved. So Mrs. Mortez decided to make her daughter the biggest, most elaborate Sweet 16 party this town had ever seen. But alas, the nastiest girl in school was Ashley Ashcroft. Her 16th birthday had been a rather posh affair at the local country club, and Ashley swore she would stop at nothing before she'd let some formaldehyde stinking freak outdo her. But Mrs. Mortez did herself proud. Instead of the usual coffin on the raised platform, there was a three-piece band. The carnations were replaced with roses, and instead of sad sobs, the tinkling of a raspberry punch fountain wafted through the room. But in the end, it was still a funeral parlor. Guests were terrified to enter alone. Each girl put her gift on a table in the main hall and then crept timidly into the reception area. Mr. and Mrs. Mortez were not even there to see their daughter's imminent crushing disappointment. One Mr. Parsegian, an atomic research technician, had sadly passed away that morning, and his cremation could not be delayed. So Lulu's doting parents and I were in the basement, stoking the furnace, when the nasty Ashley finally arrived. Ashley was late because she had discovered the smallest of blemishes just below her right cheek. The Sweet 16 party was already a humiliating disaster when Ashley wafted in like an ill wind. She hugged Lulu and insisted they play a little game of double dare. Everyone at the really fun parties play it, she said. It'll be a blast. Ashley's first victim, Leslie, pulled a slip of paper from the hat and was forced to reveal the name of the boy she most recently kissed or be forever remembered as a scaredy cat party pooper. Then it was Lulu's turn. <laughs> Lulu put on her blindfold and stuck her hand into the vile concoction Ashley smuggled into the party in a crusty mason jar. Her hand went in with a squish. The main ingredients which Ashley had personally prepared were half-set jelly and tapioca pudding with a rotten egg added for obvious effect. Peeled grapes slithered at the top and there were a few unfortunate earthworms near the bottom. Ashley waited with bated breath to hear the inevitable scream and see the humiliation as Lulu raced out of her own Sweet Sixteen party. Lulu stirred her hand round and round the slimy substance and pulled out a long, slithery thing and asked, Is this a really dead eel or what? Ashley screamed and nearly went into a fit. Mr. and Mrs. Mortez and I scrambled up from the basement. I deposited the container of what remained of Mr. Parsegian on the front table. When Ashley saw the gold-plated urn, she knew she could still spoil the party. By the time I told Mr. and Mrs. Mortez where I had put Mr. Parsegian, it was too late. You see, when Ashley arrived home, she looked inside and wondered what the price of volcanic ash mud packs were these days. Hmm, maybe it would cure her blemish. She added water and applied liberally. Ashley had Mr. Parsegian plastered all over her face. This is a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine. Oh, Ashley is still just as mean as ever. But her skin is truly radiant. <laughs>